here everybody um, Thursday day 28 coming to the end hopefully uh, for you guys um, happy St George's Day by the way um, that's today I'm sure you all know that um, and as is my way I like to research things before I uh, discuss them so research a bit of St George some little facts here that might interest you St George was born in Turkey he was tortured for being a Christian who did that I wonder and he was killed in Palestine beheaded and they posted his head to Rome where his coffin is I guess probably not a real coffin just like a head sized box but um, interesting that a few things there that one is not English and two that um, there was a postal service running in the Roman times it was pretty impressive I thought um, where you could post heads to randomly as well which is again it's quite impressive so there you go St George Turkish um, things you learn of social media a lot of crap out there it's quite a toxic place as I mentioned before peeler carrots my mate uh, Steve knows all about these watch this peels both ways I mean how impressive is that down and up fantastic it's been a very long month on the subject of St George by the way I forgot to show you a picture of him. there's an actual picture of him here that was painted a few things on this to help dispel the myth there he is look doesn't look very hard does he really a bit boyish and that thing at the bottom the dragon that he's slaying I'd like to say that's probably just like a an angry dog if I'm being honest so a bit of a kid don't look very hard and he slayed a dog no dragons involved another thing <clears throat> Dr Matthew Jackson again Sky News headlines has announced today that too much exercise could potentially leave you more susceptible to catching COVID-19 I mean they change the rules every day on this thing but I'll tell you what can't ignore the experts can you so Stuff that exercise for a lark, it's killing me anyway. Um, another good note today uh, that was announced this morning, um, brilliant news, Leeds United um, have announced that the South Stand at Ellen Road will be named the Norman Hunter South Stand after the uh, recently departed legend, which is absolutely fantastic news, um, and that's great, good to hear. Um, I did learn today that there's a few returning employees to PDS um, running a petition to have um, one of the toilets um, named after me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, no full poem from me tonight. Um, I've got basically three to do. Um, we've got NHS, of course. What I miss about uh, this during this lockdown period, which will be a good one, hopefully. Well, be a as bad as the rest I guess but um, and also what it will be like post Covid-19 because there's a very different world going to come our way but I did I did write about 12 limericks today so I'm just going to give you a couple of well maybe three limericks just to you know end this nonsense on a hopefully a little high <clears throat> there once was an old man named Tim some said he was nice but quite dim he spent all lockdown time finding words that would rhyme even the re though the results were quite grim. St George is our own patron saint, but a true-born Englishman he ain't. His past is a little murky, and he was actually born in Turkey, despite the English bulldog image we paint. The BMP won't be happy, because George isn't a real English chappy. The fact he ain't born on our soil will make the skinhead's blood boil. And make those shit tattoos even more crappy. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>